Okay, so not having it back with some Resistance 3 beta. No, not beta. I'm sorry. This is the game. Resistance 3 online gameplay. This is a, te a deathmatch prison. Um, I think I'm going to be playing as a Chimera. And uh, I did this. I made this video a while ago. I just haven't put my voice to it and uploaded it because uh, I've been very busy these past couple weeks that's why I haven't been putting up any videos uh, let's see I think I have the shotgun the Rossmore and this gun is very powerful it's really good especially when you level it all the way up and I really haven't gotten that far yet during the uh, in the game um, during the beta I did level it all the way up and like I said it's pretty awesome uh, a couple things about this game the, uh, the 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 main problem I had with the beta was that you had to pump so many bullets into people just to just to kill them, and it's the same way doing a regular game. So I'm guessing they just they that's just how they wanted to do it, you know. Uh, but when you come from playing other first-person shooters, um, it, it makes it it's just a different flow when you have to just lay lead into people just to get them to go down and it's 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 really I, I don't want to say it's unrealistic because this whole damn game is unrealistic you know there's no such thing as real chimera and you know it's not uh, you know but but you you should, you understand what I'm saying right uh, it, you just have to put too many bullets into somebody to lay them down and uh, I don't I don't think they have a hardcore mode I, uh, I honestly I don't think they do but it's just something that I would like to see them address in a future update uh, maybe they have by the time this video has uh, is uploaded As a matter of fact I have the game in my PS3 right now actually no I don't I have home front so uh, let me go ahead and switch those out but yeah like I said I was out of town um, the past couple weekends and um, I had to go visit with my uh, my wife's family, and then I had to go go out of town for work. So I was uh I was really really busy, and although I had been playing games, it hadn't been that much, and I hadn't made that many videos. Uh, I have this video, I have a video for Do Sex, and I'm gonna make a video for Dead Island. Uh, Dead Island is an awesome game. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's like, for those of you who haven't played it, it's like Fallout, but with zombies. That's the way I describe it. And, of course, Do Sex is, um, it's kind of like Fallout 2, but you're in futuristic, um, Detroit. And, um, you, you're a guy, and you work for this company that does, um, cybernetic, um, cybernetic, uh, limbs and stuff for people, and you end up getting screwed up. And they end up, you know, giving you some stuff and you got to, you know, do missions and everything. But I'll talk more about that later. Um, I've just put Resistance 3 in my PS3 and it is an update, version 1.03. Not too sure what they, uh, what they addressed. I have to do some research on it. If anybody knows, feel free to post it because I'll probably forget. But um, other than that, other than what I said earlier, this game is really fun to play. I really enjoy doing it. Uh, not <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really I don't really enjoy doing that. I really enjoy playing it and um, It's just as fun as the beta was the single-player campaign is really fun and Playing the first two resistance game games uh, I, You know I was able to get right into it and uh, like I like I've said before I didn't really enjoy the first resistance but I I did like the second resistance and so far the third resistance is really fun so I, I really like this game uh, I, I I would honestly give this game a 9 out of 10 uh, everybody's not gonna agree with me but I like the game I do like the uh, the multiplayer levels are awesome uh, especially the one where you're in like the blizzard it kind of reminds me of um I think the level is in New York, but it's like a, a snowstorm going around and everything. It kind of reminds me of that uh, that level in uh, Killzone 3. And this type of game, 
is uh, for an exclusive it's really good one thing about ps3 as they as 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 sony has you know since they released ps3 and it has uh it had a rough start you know because it was so expensive and i bought my ps my first ps3 the day it came out and it was 60 gig and i mean it was just it was really it was really expensive and I on, the only game i had was um that Gundam game that came out with it. I had that and I think that's about it. I may have had another game. I, I had Resistance, the first one. But, it, you know, as the PS3 evolved and, and really found its footing, the the um, the exclusives that they have have just gotten better. I mean, look at Uncharted, look at Killzone, look at Resistance. A, a little big planet all these exclusives that they have is I mean, and it's really good and um, Sony has really learned from their mistakes and really put their best foot forth in in supporting the PS3 and getting developed uh, developers to um, to give them exclusive features you know like how the Xbox gets all the new maps for Call of Duty a month before at least a month before PS3 but on PS3 now has it to where they have exclusive content you know specifically for ps3 users and that i mean that's really good you know uh, some people get really pissed off about the fact that xbox gets more and more uh, call of duty maps early but you know really it's not that big of a deal to me um look at how i just killed that guy i just came in his shield i came in his house and evicted him out of it and that's how i roll when i'm a chimera but uh but yeah, people get pissed off about it, and it's not that I don't I don't really care about it. I don't like the fact that Microsoft treats Call of Duty like it's a, an, an Xbox exclusive, like they like they own the rights to it, like Halo or something. But you know that's out of my control. Um. Ah, uh, I lost my train of thought. Crap. Uh, be on the lookout for more videos. Um. A lot of people do the, uh, the, you know what's weird about this part right here is that I started this, um, I don't, I don't remember whether it's right there or not, but it was one match where I died and I respawned and I had a completely different gun and I think this was it because I remember when I had it, I started running around and then I was like, what the hell, how did I get this gun? Maybe I, no, I, I might have switched the damn, I might have switched the class right there because I wasn't having that much, um, success with the shotgun. But uh, that was a little glitch that was kind of screwy, but whatever. I've had that happen on uh, Call of Duty, the Modern Warfare, or Black Ops, or something. But you just respawn. No, it was Modern Warfare, and I had a, I had a, uh, I had like a M4 or something, and then I respawned, and all of a sudden I had a, a damn, a different gun and a Spaz 12. Huh? Whatever. It's all good. Uh, keep be on the lookout for a uh, do sex video. I think that's gonna be my next video up, um, and then I'll do a uh, dead island video. I really get that. The thing about the good part about do sex, besides the, uh, the the graphics are pretty good, but the the game itself, the storyline and the missions and the side missions, the game really sucks you in. It really keeps you playing. And I, I really like the way that they went ahead and um, how they did that. And the, the developers for that game were just amazing in the way they did that. And I played that game for hours. When I first bought the game, it was like, it was crazy. I played it for a very long time. So, um, that, and it, the game has longevity. You're going to put some hours into that game simply uh, because of, you know, the missions, the main missions, and then they have the side missions. And if you've ever played Fallout, then, then you understand that you have your main missions, you have the side missions, and then if you do uh, um, something a certain way, it may prevent you from doing side missions later on down the road, and some side missions get failed because of a decision that you made. Because So the game itself, it, it just allows you to just keep playing and keep playing and keep doing different things, which is good. Uh, this match is just about over. I will put up more resistance ma uh, videos. I really like this game. This game could hold. It, it should hold me over until you know uh, whatever the other big names come out. But this is one of the big, the the big threes that I was talking about. But anyway, um, this match is over. I end up going 15 to 14. Not that bad. Uh, 
uh, like comment subscribe show me some love i'm not